for the build log. Uh, today's a good day because I got my lovely, lovely turn signals in. Uh, don't have them wired yet. I have uh, the flasher relays and everything coming in for it. So today I'm just redoing the wiring basically. Uh, so, so far what I've done is I've made my brackets, which were a pain in on themselves. If you guys want to know how I made those brackets, um, just tell me in a comment, I guess. Uh, this broke, so I got to fix the little doodad in that. But I mean, it still works. I got the battery on it. I don't have the bag, which, oh well, because the bag, once everything's on it, the bag's going to sit up here and hide all the wiring, which I'm cleaning up. So, as of right now, kill switch isn't wired to a ground. So, I mean, it kind of works. The key switch right here, uh, it will shut the spark on and off. And now, since the battery is connected, I flip it over to lights. And the headlight comes on and it's pretty it's actually really bright I'm gonna get a better bulb for it which is no big deal um, clutch lever works I got the clutch working it's just sticky because it hasn't ran uh, coolant good news good news good news it no longer leaks uh, Turns out the lower radiator hose down here uh, pulled down because the little thing comes here and then the hose was here and it was t tied on and I didn't notice it. And that's why it was leaking coolant everywhere all the time. The radiator's on. I mean, I kind of need to tighten that bolt. But for the, fo for the most part, it's on there. It's not really going anywhere. Uh, CDI is completely on the coil, the coils bolted on, uh, let's see, spark plug wire is right here, not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it goes on, bit of a tight fit, horn button, now if I have the key turned on, which I do. Keep in mind, battery is low and it probably won't pick up right, but I have a really nice horn. Um, I was thinking about wiring that one, which is I got my grandmother a set of hella horns for her Cadillac because her horn on her Cadillac is utterly pathetic. Um... So I might just do that for giggles. Uh, actually, I'll do that right now. If I set you guys... I'll unplug you from the charger. Now, if I pull these bottom leads off, I'll be left with this. Which then, maybe, if I set you guys down, and I'm very, very sorry. I'm a terrible YouTuber. Uh, cancer. Okay. Now, did it not connect? Hmm. Well, that's kind of strange. Oh, that's because these two wires are shorting out. All right. Why isn't that working? Oh, because numb nuts, your battery wire popped off. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. All right. Three, two, one. Still nothing. Because oh. why not? Oh, it's trying now.
I don't think it's getting a good enough connection. I know that horn works. really weird. Are these polarity maybe? No? Oh well. Uh, that's weird. That was kind of neat. Neat little project. <coughs> Excuse me. Well. Let's stick these back down here. And reconnect them. I'll reconnect them later. Turn the switch off. All right. Um. Oh, brakes. I think I covered that in the last episode. This thing, the reservoir. It's terrible. I've actually stood up and leaned on this and nearly snapped it in two. Uh. Still don't have shifter. The. Yeah, I have mirrors. As my grandfather's old mirrors off of one of his bikes. So I'm just going to use that. Uh, yeah. I think I need to tighten a couple more of these hoses before I do go running the bike. Which I can't even do yet because I don't have my expansion pipe. So. Yeah. Just a little update. Um, I will do part 5. Which part 5 is probably going to be when I get the turn signal and everything else for the bike, uh, all the relays, because currently, right now, I just made these two brackets for these, which I'll show you, I'll take the battery off. You can kind of guess what the bike will look like if I do this, which, come on, something like that in the front, and then in the rear, it's going to be, that fell, it's, this is going to be bolted down better, there's going to be a single like one of the, it's a big light thing that goes here and it's got brake light and in the corners there are turn signals and I'm just going to use those. Not going to really worry about a plate mount because I don't really plan on making this street legal. Um, I mean, I, I want it to be street legal, but not, because I don't have anything for this bike. I'd need to have all the stuff made for it and yeah all that hollow blue but i mean it's a neat little bike it's not a total pile of junk uh we'll just see how it goes from there so for right now i guess i'll see ya dudes lata oh jesus hello that board is deadly um i think i might even trim front fender you know Oh, all those bolts are loose. Okay, um, I think I might trim the fender down to like a point or something. Uh, or I'll find something to put up here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you dudes later.